Some fascinating video of Mitt Romney speaking about being a Mormon has leaked. This is video taken off the air. I, I guess it appears to be after an interview with WHO Iowa's Jan Mickelson. And this has been making the rounds, close to 2 million views on YouTube. This is pretty fascinating stuff. Mitt Romney, the, the, I'm going to set the context and then we'll go through some of the video here. The context is Mitt Romney appears to be displeased that Jan Mickelson was asking so much about Mitt Romney's Mormon faith during the interview and kind of saying, listen, I'm not running as a Mormon. I'm really, I'm running for president. And they have a disagreement and it's really pretty fascinating. So I want to play a little bit of this here for you. Uh, let's take a listen, Lewis. Let me help you understand. And, it's, and you don't understand my faith like I do. All right. So, so give me for a moment the benefit of the doubt that having been a leader in my church, a bishop and a state president, I understand my church better than you do. All right. My church has very strong beliefs that Mormons should not participate in, encourage, in any way support abortion. You could be excommunicated if you do. It says right there. Uh, 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 That's what they say. I didn't say it. <laughs> are you thinking I'm disagreeing with you? No, I don't know. But it's strong. Are, are, you, are you disagreeing with me? Uh, uh, I, I, let, let me let me once again say yes. I understand my faith better than you do. Right. Well, you don't believe that, do you? I'm not sure. <laughs> well, See, I, that, I, that it's that it's hardly worth having a discussion. Well, no, no, I'm not. Uh, let, listen, let me. Can I can I complete the point? Well, the reason I said that is because you also said in another forum, uh, I think it was on Stephanopoulos, uh -huh. about the second coming of Christ. Right. And you said it's going to happen in Jerusalem. And it is. Your church says it's going to happen in Missouri. No, it doesn't. <laughs> All right. Is that wrong? I, is what I, wrong? Is what wrong? Uh, okay. So, see, I, the church says that Christ appears in on the Mount of Olives and splits the Mount of Olives and appears in Jerusalem. That's I want to interject here. The fascinating. They're talking really here about Mormon doctrine. And what's fascinating to me is when you hear Mitt Romney correct Jan Mickelson or attempt to correct him. I don't get the sense that Mitt Romney is correcting him from a place where this is what he deeply believes. I get more the point that Mitt Romney is correcting him in the same way you would correct someone about something like jobs numbers or something that you're not really emotionally attached to. In other words, I know everything we know about Mitt Romney and his Mormon faith, and I'm really just taking a reading based on body language and just my sense here. It feels though like Mitt Romney is just kind of correcting facts and that he's not emotionally attached to this second coming of Christ in a way that somebody who really believes this stuff would be. Right. He doesn't sound at all like the Bible nuts we interview on a regular basis. That's for sure. I mean, the ton, it, yeah. I was just going to say, um, this is, but this is the way he sounds about everything. Well, that's I mean, the, the interesting the way, thing. Yeah. That's the interesting thing. Is this an indication that Mitt Romney is not even really that passionate about his religion? Or is this an indicator that he's not that passionate about anything? Or is this an indicator that this is how Mitt Romney shows passion? Are you picking up on this as well, Natan? Well, I'm not really sure uh, what we can deduce about what he really believes in terms of re his religion based yeah. on this, but I am surprised. I haven't seen Mitt Romney this fired up for anything ever, really. Okay, uh, so he, maybe he I'm wrong. Like, I mean, no, no, I mean, I'm not saying that he's uh, not doing what you're describing in terms of parenting out uh, a factual question on the church and not his beliefs, but it seems to me like he's really into this conversation. I'm surprised this video surfaced. Let's take a little bit more video here. Thousand years of the millennium, that the world is reigned in two places, Jerusalem and Missouri. That's what the church says. The second coming, the arrival of Jesus Christ, our church says is in Jerusalem. That's the church doctrine. Then Stephanopoulos uh, misquoted your church, which is not that's, surprising. That's, that's fine. That's but fine. But I was basing, that, I was basing my, my yeah, just, question on you that. Can, you can, you can, uh, Cleon Skousen has a book called A Thousand Years, so you can talk about Christ appears. It's throughout the Bible. Christ appears in Jerusalem, splits the Mount of Olives to stop the war that's coming in to kill all the Jews. It's, it's, our church believes that. That's where the coming in glory of Christ occurs. We also believe that over the thousand years that follows in the millennium, he will reign. All right, let's skip ahead a little to where they're really talking about the, the, the questions themselves. Abortion. I, I was beaten up in Boston because I pointed out time and again that I encourage girls not to get abortions, that I told them to have adoptions. I have never done anything that in any way violates the principles of my church in that regard. I've made other mistakes, but in that regard. But the church does not say that a member of our church has to uh, be opposed to allowing choice in, in society. It does not say that. And therefore, there are there are Mormon Democrats. There's a Democratic Party in Mass in, in Utah filled with Mormons. And the church doesn't say they're wrong, they're being excommunicated. No, it says, look, we are vehemently opposed to abortion ourselves and for ourselves. But we allow other people to make their own choice. All right. So what's your I find this video fascinating. And you can see the full five minutes online. Yeah, I, I will agree with the time. This is the most fired up I've ever seen Romney. He does seem 
passionate about this to an extent. I think he is more passionate about defending the Mormon church than he is about the subject matter. Interesting. But uh, I guess I'll leave it at that. Natan, anything else on this? No, just uh, do you know when this was recorded? Is this, this was like several a... years ago. I think this was this is four years old, potentially. Right. That, that's yeah. what I think. That makes sense. I mean, it seems like this is pre-Republican uh, primary talk. On yeah, for sure. Part. For sure.